We got one. Oh. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. We're out here today. We're gonna go do some beaver trapping. Uh, I actually ended up catching a beaver in a 160 Conner Bear, which is definitely not a beaver trap in the area where I didn't think we had any beavers. So, so today uh, I've got some 330s and uh, we got my gear. So we're gonna go make some sets here today. And uh, yeah, if we catch a beaver, we're gonna we're gonna eat it. I'm gonna cook it up on camera. So you guys stay tuned for that. Hopefully we catch one in the video. If not, I think it's still gonna be a good video. So you guys stay tuned. I mean, I'm telling you, it's gonna be a banger. My dog, that's as high. Oh, yes, duh. Oh, yes, uh, yes. <laughs> anyway, so the spot that we're at just down the road, not too far away, and uh, yeah, we just I've been trapping there. I've caught some muskrats. Uh, really about it. I've pretty much just caught muskrats there. Oh, yeah, and I seen a coyote there. We're gonna go there, and I'll uh, see you guys when we get there. Okay, guys, we're here in the field, but yeah, we're here just a nice, brisk afternoon here. Yeah, we're gonna go make some sets, and uh, yeah, you guys stay tuned. It's gonna be awesome. Now we're working with something here. And there is the lodge. This is a beaver lodge. You guys stay tuned. We're gonna catch a beaver. Okay, so what we need is we got the ax already. I've had that for sort of a walking stick type of thing. And then we need trap setters, which are these things. These things just compress the springs. I'll show you that in a minute. And then we need a 330. I'm gonna use this 330. Uh, I spray painted this 330 with some black paint uh, way back in like the summer. Uh, I don't think it makes any difference. I, I don't know. I mean, it, it probably will protect your trap. I don't think water animals care nearly as much about scent as canines do. So we're gonna grab this one. So I'm gonna put one set over there where they're coming out of the water. And then I think I might put one set closer to the lodge. Ax, trap, and then we got our setters here. So we're gonna walk in the water here. Try not to die. We could put a set here. It's pretty deep though. I think we'll probably try to stay away from that specific spot right there because it's really deep. Okay, this is pretty dang firm right here. So we might put a set in just right here. This isn't right at the lodge. This is sort of a shallower run, but I think we can still get the trap under. And I don't think we're gonna expect super freezing conditions. So I'm not super worried about freeze up and I think we'll be able to get most of the trap underwater. So first thing we're gonna need to do is my battery, my GoPro battery is dying on me, but it's it should be fine. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a couple dead sticks for, for supports for the 330. Now the reason they're gonna be dead is because beavers, well, they eat wood, they eat the bark off wood. So if it's living, they might have just they might just come up and, and chew on the wood, you know, and not get caught in the trap, or they might get caught poorly. So we're gonna get some dead stuff. This is dead right here. There we go. We've got our big 330 bile. Oh man, this thing's huge, okay? This thing is no joke, be careful. I do have a uh, little uh, piece of rope that will help me get unstuck if I catch myself in here. So you go like so, and you clamp those down and then you squeeze them. Now these bad boys got a lot of power behind them so you gotta be careful. You don't wanna smack your face and kill yourself, but that's pretty good right there. So now that spring's set, we're gonna do the same to the other one. And now I'll get positioning the trap in the water. Okay, so we're just gonna shove this through. So we're gonna position this trap right about there. We're gonna grab, Next, just gonna smack that. We're gonna grab our trap again. I like these blouses because the safety stay put. <laughs> Other traps, they don't really do that very well. So then we're gonna grab like this. That's set like that. Boom. Now, like I said, the trap is gonna be a little bit out of the water, as you can see, but I don't think this is gonna freeze up too bad. So I think we'll be fine. Just sort of shift sticks just like that. And just one like right there type of thing. Okay, my battery's about to die. I'm gonna go put in one more set and then we'll try to get out of here. So we're gonna catch a beaver and we're gonna eat a beaver. You guys stay tuned. Okay, I'm just here at the at the lodge here, about to make another set. I don't think I'm gonna make it here, but you can see, I think the entrance of the lodge is like right there. So I'm not gonna set it. I think I might set this over there. I think this will be good. I think we got a good chance of catching one. I think this, this should be pretty good. So I'm gonna quickly make one more set here and then I'll catch you guys back on the main camera. Oh gosh, we just got back. The lodge is like over there somewhere. We're gonna get the heck out of here.
we got one. I think. Don't quote me on that. Oh, we got one. <laughs> yes. You see him? Okay, so we're back here checking the traps. Um, we got two 330s like I showed you guys previously. Uh, first trap, we got a beaver, so. Oh, yeah, boy. That's a big one, too. Look look at him. Look at him. Oh, he's pretty He's pretty big. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, baby. That's a pretty good one. He's not the biggest, but he's pretty big. Look at that, right behind the, the neck, right there. I don't know if we got something over here, but hopefully. I don't know, we might not have, we might. We might I think we have something. Oh boy, this is deep. Got a little musk right off that set. Not what I was looking for, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. It's another muskrat in the bag. That's 17 muskrats total this season. You ready for the knee flip? He's probably 40 pounds, if I'm guessing 40. Okay, so we're gonna we got the beaver and stuff. We're gonna head back to the to the house and get the beaver ready to eat. So we'll film that. I don't know when. It's gotta dry out and stuff before I skin it. So it'll probably be a little bit. But we'll see you guys when we start cooking this guy up. We're cleaning it. But yeah. Anyway. Okay, so we're we got the beaver here in the, in uh, my friend's basement. We're about to get them all skinned up here. I'm not really gonna show. Them. Well, most of this we're not really going to show because YouTube doesn't really like me showing this stuff. But anyway, we're going to get them skinned up and it's going to taste really good. So you guys stay tuned. Okay, so what we did is all we did was rung around the tail. We got the back legs and the front legs off. And then we went up the middle and split it because uh, beavers are skinned differently than coyotes and fox and stuff like that. They're not case skinned. They're uh, open skinned. So we cut them down the middle up to the chin here. And then take your beaver knife, which is a different type of knife. This is the first cut knife. So they're, this one's just a little bit more of a rounder blade and then you just sort of start going like this and sort of peeling it back and you just start opening them up okay so we got all of our meat in the crock pot right here I didn't cut all of it up I still have a little bit in the bag back there actually quite a bit but uh, we're just gonna roll with this amount for now. Cut the rest stuff off camera. Cutting board, we got one clove of garlic. Then we got uh, like a three quarters of an onion. So that's what we're gonna do. Mince them up real good. I don't know, I like, actually, the garlic we're gonna mince up really good. But this, I like uh, bigger chunks of onion. So we're gonna not be too picky when it comes to the onion. We're gonna cut that up right now. Bam, then all the onions go right into the crock pot. Now for the garlic. Okay, now we got the beaver, we got the onions, and we got the garlic right here in the crock pot. Slow cooker thing. Now we got all the spices and stuff. Uh, we got ginger, we got some crushed red peppers, we got some salt, and then we got some pepper. Yeah, there's, there's some pepper over there. We're gonna put all these spices in there. Don't be shy with pepper, don't be shy. And then we're gonna add some other stuff too. So this is like a sweet and sour recipe. You can, I mean, it's pretty simple, but yeah. Tastes, tastes good with the beaver especially. And then like 30 minutes before we're gonna eat it, we're gonna add some rice to it, and then maybe a little bit more liquid, and that till, uh, Cook the rice right in the crock pot, and that's gonna be real good. So that's enough uh, pepper right there. Then we got some salt, fancy salt right here. I like salt, so I'm not gonna put, I'm not gonna be too too shy with the salt there. We got some red pepper, crushed red peppers for spice, some kick. Just gonna sprinkle a few of those bad boys in there. And then we got ginger. We're gonna actually measure this because it's some pretty potent stuff. <laughs> but I'm not gonna be too shy with the ginger either. Then we got some Worcestershire sauce. We're just gonna slam some of that stuff in there. Then we got some good old ketchup right here. And then we got a little bit of vinegar here that's gonna get a little bit of sourness. We're not gonna put too much of this in there or else it'll probably taste bad, but we'll put like a little bit. And then we just got some brown sugar or yellow sugar if you wanna, you know, get me on the technicality, but we're gonna put some of this stuff in too. There we go. And then we're just gonna put this bad boy on high. We're gonna cook it. Actually, we're gonna add a little bit of water in that too. You can add a little bit more water when you cook the rice, but, uh, but I'm just gonna add some more now and that'll bring it up a little bit. So we got all that good stuff in there. Then we're gonna slap this thing over here. We're gonna plug it in. We're gonna turn it on high and it's gonna start cooking. There we go, we got it on high and uh, yeah. now it's just a waiting game. We're gonna wait, uh, I don't know, probably, uh, it'll probably be ready for like for around supper time. So uh, about 30 minutes before we wanna eat it, we'll put some white rice in there and then we'll uh, let that cook and then we'll eat it. I'm really excited, so I'm excited. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we cooked the beaver. Uh, I gotta confess, I've already had like a plate full of it. Cause it's just, it's just that good. We're gonna taste it, you guys are gonna see on camera. And uh, uh, I ended up adding the rice, ended up cooking it partially. 
I had about a cup of rice into there. It was actually perfect. <laughs> Thanks, my mom, because I was about to put like two cups of rice, and that would have just been way too much rice. So we got the perfect amount of rice in here, perfect amount of everything. I'm gonna get a nice scoopy here with some beaver in there. As you can see right there, we just got the rice. Everything's nice. Like the rice soaked up the moisture, like the the juice that was in there, all the spices and everything. I actually did end up adding a little bit more ginger to it, but uh, yeah, it's really good. That should be pretty good. Oh, that's really good. The ginger is very prominent, and that's the way I like it. I just like it better that way. Anyway, I'm not going to eat any more. I've already had a whole plate of that and some noodles and stuff, so I'm not exactly hungry. But I did eat it, and I didn't know beaver's good. So if you, if you have access to beavers, go trap them and eat them. They're, they're really good. So anyway, I'm not going to bore you too much longer. If you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Really appreciate it. And please check out my sponsors, Duke Traps, Dan Beaver Trapping Supplies, and Long Creek Trapping Supplies. Links will be in the description down below. But other than that, Thank you guys for watching. We'll talk to you guys in the next one.